Good afternoon. My name is Julie Weber. I am French. I was born in Eastern France and I have been a partner of Solar Group since August 2018. Since 2019, I have been a national partner of Solar Group in France, Côte d'Ivoire, Senegal, Benin, Togo, Cameroon and Burkina Faso. In this short video, I want to tell you what characterizes a true leader and explain what leadership in general is. Is a good leader just a good manager? In fact, a leader is not a position or an official title, but a set of behavior patterns and charisma that ultimately make people want to listen to him or her and strive upward. A leader is not just about effectively managing team members so that they can perform their tasks effectively. A leader goes far beyond those functions. But while some people are leaders by nature, others need to develop what is called leadership to become more than just a good manager. Leadership is a term that defines a person's ability to guide or lead others, organizing something in order to achieve certain goals. We might say that a leader is someone who has the ability to guide, influence and inspire. While there is no model of the perfect leader, all good leaders have qualities we recognize as characteristic of them. So, I would like to list the main characteristics that we need to have or develop in order to become a true leader. Let's start with not the easiest ones, such as the ability to trust. Trust is essential to any human relationship, and relationships and business partnerships are no exception to this role. The ability to trust when you are a leader means the ability to delegate tasks to your employees and to consider the opinions, experiences and aspirations of others. By giving your employees some of the autonomy they need to manage their businesses and projects, you will allow them to develop more and perform better. It also means having leadership qualities. A leader sets clear goals. Many people insist on the need to openly share the vision and strategy of a company and a business like ours. The lack of a shared vision of their future in the team and more broadly in any organization is actually a trigger for the development of bad feeling and loss of partner cohesion. So, Become an inspiring leader by clearly sharing the vision of Solar Group so that everyone understands how their individual contribution makes the overall success of the projects offered by our Solar Group crowd investing company possible. The leader represents the values of the company. The younger generation today is focused on companies that they believe are forward looking, bring meaning and the future. In Solar Group, many participants pay great attention to the social and community commitments of the structures they join, such as the environment. It is therefore necessary to unite teams around strong values, sharing them, but also, and above all, embodying them. Your actions must reflect the values of the company, and this is the rule of a leader. Then you will be more legitimate to the people around you, who will want to follow you and contribute with you. I deliberately say contribute and not invest, because contribution does not necessarily mean money, and we are talking about values here, not money. A leader promotes the sharing and transfer of knowledge. It is extremely important to create a favorable environment for sharing and transferring knowledge, not only among your team members, but also when bringing in a new partner, for example, to Solo Group. Your goal is to develop your team, improve their skills, and discover talents. For example, praise good initiatives. These are the little victories that allow your team to move forward, day by day, so be attentive to them. For example, when a participant achieves success and receives a new status, share the good news of their results with other participants. Emphasize the merits of the best employees to increase team commitment and performance. In this way, you will demonstrate that any effort will be rewarded and increase motivation in your solo group affiliate structure. However, keep in mind that job recognition also requires actions such as professional development through training, which everyone must complete. 
as a leader, encourage new initiatives. Innovation is vital to any team and any organization. Thus, your job is to encourage your team to come up with and test new ideas or initiatives. By relying on the collective mind and using all available energy to move forward and push your partners forward, you may one day be very surprised at what ideas others can offer you for self-improvement. We also talk about transparent communication. Honesty is one of the keys to the trust we give or don't give to those around us. A good leader, more than anyone else, has a duty to communicate transparently and sincerely in every situation. He must be able to encourage in case of success, but also, above all, to take responsibility for mistakes in case of failure without distorting reality. It's about his authority and legitimacy. However, if you are able to be open and transparent, your team members will also feel freer to speak their minds. In this case, know how to make the best use of your employees' feedback. Listening is also a quality of a good leader. Listening is a prerequisite for all good communication. It allows you to get to know your employees and, therefore, to adapt your speech for optimal effect. Listening is a skill that is often neglected. However, if used properly, it helps to create a good atmosphere of mutual understanding. In this way, partners will feel that they are really heard and they will not hesitate to discuss their problems in more detail, which will allow you to find solutions together. To be a good leader, however, it is also desirable to have convictions. A true leader not only has convictions, but he is also not afraid to state them loudly. You must be confident enough in your skills and qualities to express your ideas and your business vision whenever necessary. But being confident does not mean being lacking in humility. You must use the confidence you have been given to support your ideas and project, as well as those of your employees. Also remember that sometimes you can be wrong too. You can also recognize a leader by his active, tireless activity. He is always on the lookout for the slightest new information, which he hires to share with his team or potential clients. In conclusion, before you want to lead a team, think about what you yourself expect from a manager. What characteristics or qualities make a person a good leader in your eyes? Exemplarity, honesty, a little character, a little compromise, and proven skills. Always be mindful of your personal expectations, what you have a special interest in, and then you will become the charismatic leader of your dreams. Staying a benevolent leader, even from a distance, is easier and more effective. So, I wish you to become a great leader at Solo Group.